if you're new here, uh, about two years ago, almost to the day, uh, this is October something, 2016, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I was, the Adams Family movies were on HBO or something, and I watched them, and I got a wild hair up my ass, and I was like, Hollywood remakes everything. Yeah. What if they remade Adam's Family? How would I want it casted? So I'm sure there'll be a right there to that video. And uh, <laughs> sponsored by Starbucks. Yeah. Like... <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I, I'd come up with a casting, and like this was something I did like at three in the morning, and really didn't give you guys a heads up. So I was the only one that had like casting choices. So the whole segment was me like throwing out my casting choices, and you guys telling me whether you thought they were good or not. Mm. And there were a couple of people that I was like, yeah. "There's." They're no doubters. Like, this has to be done this way or else it wouldn't be any good. And so recently I found out that they're doing an Adams Family animated movie that Illumination Studios is doing. And I had yeah, no idea. Yeah. I had no idea that this was even in production. I apologize because this is my fault, I feel like, because I was the one that started it. Um, re- I don't remake things, I said at the beginning of that yeah. video. But this is what I would do if you were going to remake it. And then somebody must have been like, oh, let's remake Adam's Family. Uh, but yeah, I just thought it was kind of interesting because a couple of the casting choices that I had ma- made are actually oh my God. in this uh, animated movie. Um, I said that even though uh, she's too old, but Chloe Moretz would be the perfect Wednesday, Wednesday Adams. Adams. Yeah. She's Wednesday Adams in this animated movie. Um, I had two choices for Morticia. I had, uh, I thought... I thought Uma Thurman was the shoe in the perfect person for it. But my second choice was Charlize Theron. She's that Mor- was you that brought yeah, Charlize yeah, Theron. Yeah, okay. Yeah. She's Morticia. She's Morticia, um, yeah. Oscar Isaac, I think, is a good cast as uh, Gomez. As Gomez Adams, especially for an animated thing, because you don't have to worry about making him look any certain way uh, for that movie. But yeah, I, I'm kind of excited because two of the things I picked. <laughs> Are two of the people I picked are in this movie. Yeah, Bolas are the same thing. Like he was about to say Chloe Grace Moretz too yeah. for, for Wednesday <laughs> Adams. Yeah, and it's it's and it like, makes sense. It yeah. actually makes a lot of sense, especially with like the character she played in the past. Right. You know, it, and she has the perfect Yeah. I specifically cited for the character she played in Dark Shadows as why Oh that's right, that's she right. Dark Shadows would be perfect as Wednesday Adams. Dark Shadows is a super underrated movie. Uh, but yeah, her resting face is perfect. Yeah, um, the only the the only thing, uh, so like Bette Midler, Bette Midler's in it. She's playing Grandma, I believe. Yeah, she is. Um, Oscar Isaac is playing Gomez. Gomez. Um, who are some of the other cast uh, members? Finn Wolfhard is playing Pugsley. Okay, and who what has he been in? Do it. Uh, right? He was in Stranger Things. He's in Stranger Things. Okay, which who does he play? He plays. Uh, fuck, I forget this character's name. Does he play the one with the hat? He's the main one of the main characters, yeah. He plays because I think you brought him up. Mike Wheeler. Did I bring him up? Yeah, you brought up a, one of the kids from Stranger Things Probably. playing, playing uh, Pugsley. So, that or might, maybe maybe I that might be the third kid then. <laughs> uh, that was the third casting choice that we got. I still think Pierce Brosnan would be the perfect Gomez if they did a live action remake. I'm not gonna back down on that. I, I think, think so too. Pierce Brosnan would be fucking perfect. Um, and I think uh, Paul Giamatti should be uh, Uncle Fester. That those were my two picks because I think their dynamic would be great. They're not in this movie. I just thought it was super interesting that I, again, it's not a wholly original thing to have. Oh, what Chloe Grace Moretz play kind of a awkward character? Yeah, right. Like, of course that's not original. But yeah, Charlize Theron pull I think is pretty good. Uh, there's the, the there picture is, I put up on the screen right now. What they're gonna oh, look like in the animated movie. Um, so I'm excited to check this out because it's it's not necessarily a remake or a reboot in the traditional sense. They're making an animated movie out of it, and I just hope that it's not super hokey. But it's probably gonna be super hokey because of the Elimination Studios is doing it. Um, but the director is the director that did Sausage Party. Same director as Sausage Party. That Sausage was Party. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Um, yeah, Jonah Hill wrote all that stuff, but the director, I can't remember. Oh, his okay, I'm thinking about the writer, never mind. Yeah, yeah uh, Greg Taran and Conrad Vernon. Yeah, I believe one of those guys is the people that did uh, Sausage Party, if I read the article correctly the other day. But yeah, I don't know why this popped up, but it popped up in my 
like on you know your Google Cards feed or whatever or Google Assistant feed whatever that's called now. Yeah. A story about um, I think it was Chloe Moretz being Wednesday Adams came up and I was like, what? I said that shit two years ago. And then <laughs> they're making an Adams family. Cool. It's animated. All right. Illumination Studios. All right. I'm in. So yeah, it's just a weird you tangent. Can, you can tell the style of Illumination Studios. Yeah. I mean, just look at um, what's his name, Thing. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, who the tall one? No, the. Uh, oh. There's. Yeah. Okay. So Gomez, Fester, uh, cousin it. Cousin it. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Lurch. Like yeah. he kind of looks like uh, the guy from Steve Carell's character, and I forgot the bad guy's name in the Minions. Oh, uh, Gru. Yeah, it yeah. kind of looks like him a little bit. But the style's really cool and yeah. very gothic. Yeah, yeah. I think I, um, I think this has the opportunity to be. You very hope it's fun. not Hotel Transylvania style. I don't think it would be that kind um, of. Do you mean animation style, or do you mean I mean, like tone wise, like story wise? Because I, I like those first two movies. I haven't watched any of those. I like the second one better than I like the first. The last one. one that came out actually kind of piqued my interest. Yeah, it's not terrible. But I heard it's not that great. Again, I have kids, so I'm predisposed to watching garbage anyway. But I actually enjoyed the Hotel Transylvania movies, especially the second one. First one is a little melodramatic, but I like the second one. It's a little more lighthearted, a little more fun. Yeah. Huh. But yeah. Um, so that's that. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to revisit that a little bit because uh, the video we did two years ago, where for whatever reason. That's a reason, good callback, yeah. I was like, oh, they should, if they did recast or reboot. Uh, but yeah. So we got to be casting directors. <laughs> casting directors, that's yeah. our next job. There you go.